Water and energy are very tightly linked. We need energy to get water, and we need water to make energy. And 80% of fresh water is used for agriculture. 98% of the planet's water is actually in the oceans. So there's a lot of water. There's a lot of water. 2% only is fresh water, is clean water. So if you look at a map of the world, uh, regions with a lot of water and regions with not a lot of water, and then you superimpose this map. Let me, let me go back. The red areas, see the red areas? They are high DNI, meaning high solar radiation areas. Now, I started the conversation with, we can't live without water for a good reason. We just can't. Literally, we can't. We have to have water. Of all the things that, I've, that I'm talking about in this class, water is probably the most urgent one in terms of the need. There was a 100,000 time growth in desalination. And it's still going up. And of course, you need energy to run desalination. Uh, how much energy? About a trillion kilowatt hours per year. A tale of two cities, Dubai. They consume 414 million cubic meters of water, of which 95%, 95% was desalinated. So if they only relied on uh, wells, they could only support 4.5% of the people of industry, of construction that they have today. I'm going to compare Dubai with Sana'a, in Yemen, has a, an interesting history too. 1931, it only had 19,000 people. By 2005, it had 1.9. So same kind of growth as Dubai. Um, they also export Yemen oil, but they're also running out. Interesting comparison, right? They're mining aquifer uh, to support 1.9 million people. By 2020, Sana'a is going to be two and a half million people. But the aquifer, which is running out, will only be able to support 400,000. But wait, there's more. They're running out of oil in about 10 years and gas in about 20. And they're not investing in new infrastructure. So this is a tale of two cities, yeah? What are they going to do? The choices that Yemen has, one, relocate 2.1 million people, and two, build desalination plants and pump that water up to the city. So desalinate by the, by the Red Sea and pump it up. How much energy do you need for that? You can build desalination plants for $6 billion, which is about 3,000 per person, to get this done. There is actually a project that has been designed to do that. The alternative, of course, is moving 2 million people. Not just moving, where are you going to move them? You need to build new cities. You need to build new factories, new schools, new electricity. And yes, you need to build desalination plants. Still, this is a massive humanitarian crisis that we know is going to happen, but we're not doing anything about. And the other point is that solar desalination is the only way for Yemen to solve this crisis. Just like Yemen, there are a lot of places around the world where solar desalination is their only choice.